Good day and a warm welcome to this MECAT Minute. My name is Raymond and within this section I'll be discussing and demonstrating the ability to link or add a predefined Excel or text document to certain custom properties. This all can be done by making use of the Property tab builder. This is a SOLIDWORKS tool that can be found under the SOLIDWORKS resources, SOLIDWORKS tool section or through a simple window search. I've taken the liberty of making use of a existing template and I'll be specifically focusing on the checked by and drawn by custom properties. Both of these properties will be making use of a list and instead of manually going acquiring and typing in the values we're going to be linking them to predefined documents. The checked by property will be linked to this predefined text document hosting all of my managers and the drawn by document will be making use of a predefined Excel document hosting all of my designers. I'll go ahead and select the appropriate type, have a path uh, selected to go and establish or find the document and under the drawn by I'll select the Excel file and have its appropriate path also populate. You'll notice a range column coming to play with the Excel document and this is simply establishing the specific cells within the Excel document the software can go and read the data from. So I will be typing in sheet 1 and specifically telling the software to go and make use of cell number A1 up until A10. Once you are content with the uh, linking process, we can go ahead and save the template. You'll notice SOLIDWORKS will need to be restarted to have the changes actually take effect. All of these options discussed is a great method to have a, a simple drop-down list available and very easily and comfortably selecting the appropriate values. This is not specific to any uh, part document but can be accomplished making use of any SOLIDWORKS document. To demonstrate this, I'll be selecting the File Properties option in the Custom Properties section. And you will notice the check by now having very specific values available. Once I have filled in the appropriate cells and values, I can go ahead and hit apply. And let's go and have a look. Under the custom or file property section, you'll now notice everything is as expected. Nothing stops you of going and adding or removing certain values manually as well. I hope this method can aid any designer or SOLIDWORKS user when creating custom properties specific in bulk. Until next time, have a good day further.